Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full Misty Your fragrance comparison. So I have five Misty Your. There is a total of six Misty Your. However, there is one scent I don't like, so I don't even have anything or even a sample of it. So I'll just be talking about the five main Misty Your that I have here. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Before I do start today's video, I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon. On Patreon, I have many different kind of tiers it's a monthly subscription you guys can cancel it anytime you want on there i share your beauty gift codes early access to my ig photos early access to my youtube videos information on the dior beauty Loyalty program early access to what i already purchased so if i go shopping you guys will get to know what i already purchased and just a lot of different kind of perks i'll link my patreon down below so Today, I will be comparing all of Miss Dior that I have from pricing, the scent, the bottle, how it looks, and what I think of it, and which is my favorite scent out of them all. So today, I have Miss Dior Bloom Bouquet. I have Miss Dior Rose and Roses, Miss Dior Rose Essence, Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming, and Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. So... The first one I am going to share is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet and this one is a Eau de Toilette and that means Eau de Toilette means it's a lighter scent and it isn't as strong or long lasting either. So this is the packaging that I have of Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. They actually just came out with a new packaging that has the same bow as Eau de Parfum but it's going to be in the vertical shape that way you can tell the difference between the two since this one is more horizontal. So, this is Bloom Bouquet. This is going to be 3.4 ounces, which is their third biggest size. So, it has 1 ounce, which is $85, 1.7 ounce for $105, 3.4 ounces for $135, and 5 ounce for $165. So, 3.4 ounce is $135. The pricing actually isn't too bad for the Miss Dior fragrances. Usually Eau de Parfum is stronger than Eau de Toilette. So I'm going to smell this first and tell you guys what it smells like to me and then I will tell you guys the actual notes that are in these, uh, this fragrance. So this fragrance is very light. I smell a hint of floor. You know what? I'm going to spray on me. Okay. It definitely is a really, really light floral. Um, very light and not very long lasting at all. You will need to have a small bottle in your handbag. That way you can, you know, touch up throughout the day. This one kind of feels like it's a spring scent. Just a really light floral for the springtime. And it kind of feels more like a lunch kind of fragrance. Not really a date at night, you know, not a club or party. But this is more like a lunch or brunch kind of fragrance. So... That is what it smells like to me. So now in the fragrance, it has bergamot essence. So it has fruit peels to give a citrus note. So now that I think about it, I kind of do smell a citrus a little bit. Maybe orange peels? It kind of kind of smells like a really slight scent of a citrus note in there. So it kind of smells a little bit orangey. Not too much. Much more floral than orange citrus but that is for Miss Dior Bloom Bouquet Eau de uh, Toilette. Next we have Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming and this is the packaging. Pretty similar. And Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming Eau de Parfum so it's a stronger scent. It has two sizes 1.7 ounce 118 3.4 ounce for 148. This is the 3.4 ounce. So let's smell it first. Mmm. It smells so good. So this one, I actually wore the other day. And I have to tell you guys, it lasted really, really long. And honestly, after I took off my shirt and everything, I still had the scent on me. So this is really, really good. Very long lasting. And to me, it smells like a floral and like some kind of berry in it. Like raspberry or something. It's very sweet. A little tangy, I would say. Mmm. So let's see what's in it. There is, oh, there's red berries, there's peony, uh, grass, and Damascus rose, and white musk. I don't know if I really smell the musk in there. It isn't as musky as other perfumes I've smelled before. Definitely more berry and floral-like. I like this one a lot. 
Next we have Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. This one is really, really popular right now. It has the beautiful uh, couture bowl right here. And it has four sizes. Uh, one ounce, $90. 1.7 ounce, $118. 3.4 ounce, $148. 5 ounce, $185. This one is 3.4 ounces, I think. And the comparison between a Eau de Toilette and an Eau de Parfum. So this Bloom Bouquet 5 ounce is 165 5 ounce Eau de Parfum is $185. So let's smell it first. Definitely a strong scent Eau de Parfum. But I will have to say that Miss Dior Eau de Parfum and Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming are quite similar to me. It kind of seems like Miss Dior Eau de Parfum smells like Absolutely Blooming but without the berry scent. So they're kind of similar in ways in my opinion. Um, this one is very long lasting as well. Since it is an auto perfume. Yeah, I mostly just smell like roses, some like floral scent in there. Let's see what's actually in it. There's a Lily of the Valley, Peony and Iris Notes, Centifolia Rose, a little bit of vanilla, Tonka beans, and it should be a little bit musky. Oh, okay. It kind of does have a, a hint of vanilla. I definitely smell that now. Now that I read what's inside. Yeah, it smells roses and vanilla to me. Very, very beautiful. Next is Miss Dior Rose and Roses Eau de Toilette. And here is the bottle. It has four sizes. 1 ounce, $72. 1.7 ounce, $95. 3.4 ounces, $125. 5 ounce for $150. So let's smell it first. Definitely smells like roses. But even though it's an Eau de Toilette, it kind of feels like an Eau de Parfum to me for some reason. I don't know if it's because of the way it smells. But it is also long lasting even though it's Eau de Toilette. Definitely smell roses in there and this one is much more musky than the other fragrances even though um, Absolutely Blooming has musk but this one smells way more musky. So let's see what it says inside. There is grass roses, bergamot zest, and white musk. So this one is definitely really rosy and musky. And then the last one I have is Miss Dior Essence. This is an Eau de Toilette. It's Miss Dior Rose Essence. This is actually their like really like limited edition like exclusive one. It has a diff a way different packaging than all the other Miss Dior. Uh, this one only has one size. It is 3.4 ounces for $163. Uh, definitely pricier than the other fragrances. So let's see what it smells like to me. Hmm. Much, much different than all these other Miss Dior, I have to say. Definitely a light floral too. It kind of seems in a way like Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, but it's a, more of a rosy scent. I don't know why, but I kind of smell something like mint. But there should not be any mint in here. <laughs> it smells really, really good. It's really different. Mm, I cannot stop smelling it. Also, when you spray it, it's almost kind of like a mist in a way. So I think it's really, really cool. Like the spray uh, is a little bit different. I like the way it sprays on. So this one, it has um, wood, woody notes of vetiver, patchouli, and guayac. It's a rose water. So this one is definitely a really interesting scent. Uh, it definitely smells really different than the other ones. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's kind of like a rose mist, rose water. It's really, really nice. So now I want to tell you guys which one is my favorite. So for the longest time, Bloom Bouquet has been my favorite for so, so long, but now, my two favorites are going to be Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming and Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. It's very, very hard to choose, but Miss Dior Rose Essence is also a nice one too. But all the Miss Dior fragrances are really nice. They have sim similar ingredients in a way because of the roses, but they just have like a hint of something different like a citrus or like a berry, vanilla, or a bit more musky. Um, but I think it's a great fragrance, a great collection. Definitely recommend checking it out and it just smells so so good. Hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, just leave them down below. Let me know if you guys like Miss Dior as well because these are definitely my favorite fragrances from Dior. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!